YouTube here with the 92 S10 doing a mechanical fan delete so I've already started so I'm just gonna take you from here uh, right here there was on each side two two ten mils on each side and it's probably supposed to be hooked up here but mine wasn't so you just pop this junker out We are going to be saving part of this, these little U pieces here. So we're just going to cut it straight across, just make it straight, basically. Anyways, do that later. Take out all the bolts to your fan. So you probably want to take your belt off. Uh, mine is trash, so I'm going to throw a new belt on it while I'm at it. Uh, I would take your belt off because it's going to have tension on this pulley. But just let your fan on out just goes on there there's basically these studs right here not on one side yada yada so I might have to get new bolts to hold this pulley on I'm gonna see right now I'm gonna try to see if these will go in and work so the reason you may need new bolts is because of the gap there's this little gap here and on the bolts themselves there's that flat spot that goes basically in between the gap so what I did was I put the nut on backwards and then it's gonna go in this way and I'll probably cut the end off of this so there's no crazy stud hanging out maybe zap a little tack weld alright I just cut all the ends off and zapped them on now they're just a little bolt super hot uh, so I'm just gonna stick them on like that I've got plenty of thread going in. I forgot to show it, but I cut this thing off. It's on the, the bottom of the fan shroud. Cut that sucker off. I'm just keeping this because it has the radiator mounts and it has these little screw holes to bolt it to the to the frame so it doesn't go anywhere. There it is down there. Not the straightest line. Whatever. Holds the radiator down. I'm going to do the same thing with the top. It's going to come right here and just hold it. Bolts are in, all tightened up. All the top and bottom shrouds are on, radiator mounts, I guess. I've got to slap these junkers in. They're from like a Ford Focus or something. Okay, I drilled, drilled a couple holes. Some of the holes were already here, and then I drilled another small one next to it. I just blasted some uh, tie wire straight through the AC condenser and the radiator, and then just twisted it up all four corners it's all nice and tight in there I just gotta direct wire it here to here slap a little relay in and I'm gonna hook it to a toggle switch okay, all the wirings here it just needs the connectors put on and then plugged in so I'm gonna slap all these connectors on now wiring and then the ground goes to right there and then this is a positive it comes up it's gonna go to this relay and there's all the connections. The hot for the relay comes in from that terminal. And there's a wire in here that goes in through the firewall. Comes in here, right here. And then another one of these is going directly to the uh, fuse box to get power. And then it's going to this toggle just on off. The ground for the relay goes right over here and it connects to that ground. It goes to the engine ground. Electric fans are all done. Uh, they're just zip tied here for now. I'm probably gonna get some, I gotta order some fabric tape in order to wrap all these, but be there for now. Just run along here. And that's that.